Hey guys, this is Taurus3800. Here I wanted to show you guys how to fix or, yeah, fix uh, and clean a remote control uh, using some household products. Here I have a, uh, my old but trustworthy Blu-ray uh, sound system, my home theater system, uh, which I love to still use with music and all that good stuff. Um, right now I'm still using these buttons because my remote keeps getting stuck. And that's the main reason I'm going to make this video. Yeah, because uh, this is my main system, my main theater system still. I know a lot of you guys say, hey, um, you know, may say that this system may be too old. Uh, hey, but it still works. And look at this. I'm <laughs> still using my, also my 2009 edition iPod Touch 2. So, yeah, I'm, I love to use these older systems. Yeah, I still also got my 360 here, and it's 2017. But, hey, if it still works, why replace it, right? Plus, I'm waiting for Project Scorpio, so that'll be another story of another day. Um, but yeah, let's get to the story, shall we? Well, I'm sitting here, and I have just disassembled this remote. And I did a really, really crappy job. As you can see, there's some uh, scuffing here and there where I had to use a knife to pry it open. Now, unfortunately, I thought this remote opened it through the seams here. Let me try to focus here. Because, yeah, I thought it opened there, but it's actually, it was hiding under the seam itself. So I had to pop out the clips. So, yeah, that was the main point there. So I kind of screwed up my remote a little bit, but I know I could fix it by melting the plastic and smoothing it out a little bit. So I'll show you guys how to do that as well. And yeah, well, I got everything disassembled. I uh, removed the batteries. Remember, before you open up something like this, uh, make sure you press the power button up to one minute before you before, or you may get a little shock. It's not deadly, but you know it's a little disturbing. Maybe I don't know. People who hate getting shocked and stuff. Uh, so here I have the casings. My pad. This is the keypad for the remote, and the circuit board. Now, I know this circuit board is good uh, because when I was testing it earlier on, I saw that the laser beam, the little um, IR blaster was working. Uh, the way you check it is you just turn on your phone and you could see the, the light turn on. So that's the, the good thing about this. I don't have to replace this. Replacement remotes on this Sony system, home theater system. Um, this one is the RM. Let me just try to focus this. The RM ADP 053. Yeah, they usually run around $25 and that's used. So, I mean, if mine worked, might as well just take some time here and uh, put some elbow grease and just clean it up, shall we? You know? So, okay. So, how did I do this? Okay, so I removed this part from this main casing right here, the circuit board. And I decided to clean it with some rubbing alcohol. I cleaned all the contacts here. What I did find was a lot of gunk in it, like, um, what would you say, like tar. But it was all sticky. I think it's from a soda or something that I spilled. I mean, this system I used here, uh, a lot of people always came and watch movies here with me and my wife. So, I mean, I used it as my main home theater stuff. And I did not charge them, so... Movie, movie companies don't kill me and try to sue me for it because I do not charge to watch movies. They just come because they're family and friends. So, All right, so here I have this tab, this uh, pad here. And all the little tabs here, from going from down all the way up, we also, also have that sticky substance, like an old soda. Like when you leave Coke out for a long time out in the sun and it gets all tacky, that's what it had in the back. So it is still a little sticky, as you can see. It's still there, so we're going to, what I did actually was just wash uh, this and wash this with a little soap and water. That did, it, that did most of the job, but not all the job. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually use 
uh, rubbing alcohol and a Q-tip to clean the rest of this uh, system and then we'll put it together. All right guys, so here it is. Um, so this is what I'm using as uh, to clean. This is a Walgreens brand alcohol, it's 91%. Uh, it doesn't matter the percentage as long as just rubbing alcohol. So here's the Q-tip. Uh, I did already start uh, using on this on our, the circuit board. It's still a little sticky, but it is way better, trust me guys, than what it was before. Uh, so hopefully this does the trick, but I think I'm going to have to go another round on it. So let's do that. Just one more time. Just dip it a little bit. Be careful not to spill anything. All right, and you just go ahead and just rub on the little sensors here, the little tabs. This is where the little pad here makes most of the connection. So it completes the connection. The pad, little the little pads inside the the thing there on the remote uh, buttons completes the connection inside these. So I'm just uh, wherever I feel sticky, I just I'm just gonna go another pass. As you can see. There's still a lot of that uh, gunk stuck in there, so I'm just going to pass to where I feel there's still some stickiness in it. I just don't, what I, what I, the reason we're doing this is to prevent these buttons from sticking, because that's the main problem I had. That's why I thought I needed another remote. Yes, I'm, I was using my uh, my Galaxy. S6 as the main remote for my home theater system, but there's nothing to like using the original for more uh, controllability. Controllability, if that's if that's how you say it. So I just passed there. The good thing about rubbing alcohol, it just dries instantly. So this thing will be ready to rock and roll. One thing you want to check um, if you're gonna do it yourself, also check uh, the connectors. Because sometimes the solder points uh, disconnect themselves, you know, because remotes are, we are more prone to drop these remotes uh, more than ever. We also drop them behind the couch and stuff like that. So just check that anything, uh, all the solder points are connected. Make sure there's no battery acid in the back. You know, if you have to, then, you know, you have to take out the soldering gun and, and complete the connections here. So... Let's put that to the side and let's begin on our pad here. We have to use new uh, Q-tips guys. I don't recommend I just dip the old one back inside the alcohol because its main purpose is to disinfect. You don't want to add more stuff in there. Then you're going to have to go to Walgreens and go buy another one. Yeah, I'm not getting paid by Walgreens so I'm just using it because that's the closest store, pharmacy store I go to. So here I'm just cleaning the stickiness, the tar, out of this. It's a little bit not too bad as it was in the circuit board. It's not a waste of time then. Okay. So we got that done. Um, you can see it's still kind of wet in the middle here. I'm just gonna dry it off a little bit. Ooh, it's still sticky here. So I guess I'm gonna pass another Q-tip uh, through the front just to remove the, the stickiness from the front because I do feel a little sticky in the front as well. That should be good enough. Trust me, it's a lot better than what it was before. There's some stuff in there that I gotta take out before I come, kind of reconnect everything. Okay, so let's put all of this together. Let's make sure we line this up. What we want to do is place all the buttons into each slot. It's somehow satisfying, kind of like bubble wrap. Oh, it just snaps in there. You hear that? It's oddly satisfying. 
we look through the file, make sure we line up each button its proper location. I see some crud in there still, but it's okay. All right, they're all in. So that's how it looks like installed. Now we're gonna install the circuit board to the backing plate right here. Make sure you match uh, the springs against it. As you can see, there is the little slots right there. One, two. You're just going to insert them right in there. Bang. To make sure there's no hairs and stuff. I thought I saw hair, so, okay. Okay, and how are we going to put that LED in? Just push down a little bit. Make sure you be careful because that LED is just hold on by, held on by a little set of arms right there. So let's do this here. So we line it up from the bottom. I guess we start from the top here. And then the little slots in the bottom, well, you just push the little springs inside there. There we go, boom, right there, like a glove. All right. Now we install this against the other uh, half of the remote and we snap it in. There you go. Make sure it's all snapped in. Now we install the batteries. And then the cover. Ooh, nice and solid now. Looks like it's gonna work. Let's the check it out. Remote installed. Well, completely assembled, not installed. Completely assembled. And let's try it out, see if it works. Power. Oops. <laughs> it was so instant that I pressed power twice and it turned it off. Sorry guys, so now we got a standby. And let's do this again. There goes my iPod on with the wrong time. Yes, I only use it for music. I don't use it for um, for internet since it's obsolete. It still works, but it sucks. Mostly use my phone now. So let's try this again. Takes time. Okay. Power on. There we go. So that's the power. So some of the problem was with the power button, but not all of it. All of it. The most of the problem was actually selecting through the menu, the interface, the OS of the system itself. So right now we wait. Sorry for the glare, guys. All right. So you can see now I could press down. Let's see if select button works because select button was the most laggy of all of this, this and the home button. Let's see. So we're going to select uh, iPod front. Ooh, instant right there. Fixed, baby. I'm just going to pause it because uh, music rights. It's playing some Snoop Dogg there. Okay, so as you can see, it works. Now, the second worst button that I had was the home button. Does that work now? Yep, look at that. It works now, like instantly. Look at it. just a click, 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 click. Button no longer gets stuck. Nothing like that. So yeah, guys, it worked. Now to get rid of that plastic, uh, my damage that I did trying to open it. Can you guys see it? 
No, it sucks, but my focus sucks on this thing. Well, yeah, you can see it right there. Boom, boom. There, and then there's some parts here. I was trying to figure it out how to open it, so. I'm sorry, guys, if I disappointed some of you, but. Yeah. Let's see if we could fix it with fire, shall we? Alright, guys, so let's try to smooth out all these, uh. Dents, dents I did on this remote here, if that's how you call them. So I'm gonna use uh, this little thing. Many of you know what it is. It came from a grooming kit that I got for Christmas, but I don't use it. So I'm gonna use it for this. And let's see what we can do here. Let's try to burn off all this uh, plastic here. Smooth it out. There we go. It's just to remove any sharp corners, edges, you know, when you want to comfortably use a remote in the dark and not cut yourself. On... So we're going to just melt this part right here. Make sure you use this outside, not like me, where I'm using it inside. It smells like plastic, like burnt plastic. Yeah, and the alcohol is right there, guys. I recognize, I do realize that, but not pointing it straight at it, and it's covered, so... I'm not playing with fire, I'm fixing it with fire. This is called metallic welding, or plastic welding. Metallic, I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> Let's see here, should continue. Smooth out these surfaces. They won't be as bothersome. There you go, guys. You see that? It's nice. Well, better than it was before. Not nice. Still looks like crap. It still looks like crap, but it works. And we got some of these here in two. Smooth that out. Smooth that out. Smooth that out. Smooth that out. Sometimes it just cures by itself. You don't really have to smooth it out yourself. But there we go. Kind of, well, beats me, you know, from spending $25 off the internet and give me a new remote when you can actually fix it and give this old dog a new life. All right, guys, this is Taurus3800. Thank you for watching my video. Logging out.